exactly how past questions so work. So let's have a look at the question. From the question, we are giving a number of students who offer certain courses. It says mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry, and economics, and so on and so forth. And then at the end, you have been asked to represent that on a, a power chart. So now the idea of the power chart, as I say, then was just a distribution of what a, a, a circle, right? So what is your portion on the circle? Just say, assuming a pizza, right? So. So which part of the pizza are you guys are you taking now we need to know the total number of people sharing the thing is that okay so how many people are going to be on the circle so in this case we have the total number of students who are 45 39 28 14 36 as well as what 8 and that gives us what 180 in all so meaning that 180 people are going to share that that that, that pizza the size of the pizza so the mathematics students what, what is their portion? What is their portion? So that let's give them their portion for them to go and share up the chemistry, the physics, and so on and so forth. All right. So your first step in solving that is to know the total number of people who are sharing the, the, the pizza. Is that okay? So in this case, you have 180, meaning that 45 of them are mathematics and so on and so forth. Now, uh, the pizza, what is the source of that pizza? The source of the pizza, as you can see, is in what circular form. So that if it is in circular form, we know that that, that is equivalent of uh, an angle of a circle. By definition, we know that that's the angle of the circle is so 360 degrees, right? So meaning all of them are going to be on what? That circle, 360 what? degrees. Is that okay? So those are the first two things that you have to pay attention to. Now the next one is so uh, what is the portions of the individual? So the what I mean by the individual portion here is that uh, what what would be the, the size of the pizza that the mathematics students have to take, right? What would be the size of the pizza that the physics students will have to take away? Is that okay? That is what you have to calculate, right? So in calculating that, we know that all of them are what 180, right? All of them are 180. In all they are 180. So mathematics out of the 180, we know that. 45 of them are, are mathematics students, so 45 over 180, right, times the 360, this is what they are going to share, is that okay? So 45 of them are mathematics students, over what, the total, the total is what, 180, right, times 360, this is what they are sharing, that gives me what, 90 degrees, so meaning that the mathematics students are going to take what, 90 degree or 90 size of what, the total pizza, right? So that is what belongs to the mathematics student. So the same we have to calculate for each of the subjects, right? Each of the items being given to you. So for the physics, we all know that physics students are what? 39, right? So 39, how many are they? They are, they are uh, 180 in all, right? So 39 out of the 180, is that okay? So multiply by what they are sharing. This is what they are going to share. They are going to share 360 degrees. That's the pizza, is that okay? So that's the pizza. When you do this calculation, you can, you can see that they are going to take 78 degrees of what the pizza, right? This is what belongs to what the physics student. So the same we have to calculate for all the subjects being given to you. So when you do your calculation perfectly, you can see that chemistry is equal to what 56 degrees. The same way, right? The same approach, right? Chemistry is equal to 56 degrees, and then biology will be what, 28, economics will be 72, and then history will be 30 or 36. Right? So that is how best you can do the calculation. Now that we know that the portions of what everybody on the pizza, so that when you call upon the mathematics student, they will go for what 90 degrees size of the pizza, and then physics will go for 78, and so on and so forth. Is that okay? Now let's see how to represent this information on what on a pie chart. Now, as I say earlier, pie chart is just the circle, right? The circle. Just imagine a pizza, the size of the pizza, so the distribution among what that, and then how do you do that? So uh, these are the tools that you have to need to 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 draw your your pie chart. You need a compass, right? A pair of compass, the protractor, as well as a, a rule. Is that okay? So this is how you you, you, you you or these are some of the tools that you have to uh, have at your disposal before you, you tackle what a pie chart. And then ha let's in this video I will teach you exactly how to do that. Now the first step. First, so this is how you have to fix what. Your, your, your compass right the pair of comp make sure that the mouth of what the pencil and what the pointer side of the compass are equal right they are the same don't let one be longer than the other other than you can't get the accurate measurement okay so that's the very first step now you open you open to 
any size right you open to the any size depending on the the the, the book that you are using right so i would advise you to make it a little bit bigger so open to any size any size of the compass right and then you draw a very nice uh, circle is that okay you draw a very nice circle so look at what is happening so i'm going to draw a very nice circle right so perfect is that okay this thing has no any measurement is that okay it has no all that is most most important is that this is what a, 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 a very nice circle you open to the size of uh, the book that we are having so that is for the, uh, the circle don't forget the center right you have to look at the center look at the center this is exactly where my center is right this is where the center is so this is where i'm having what my center is that okay so just look at the center right so after locating the center you take the radius the radius what i mean by the radius is that from the center to uh, the uh, the end of what the circle right to the second frame we call it for a second frame is that okay from here to here you just take any measurement right don't 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 measure anything just put your ruler down and you have what a straight line is that okay just put your ruler down and have the straight line so i'll pause the video and come back and come and show exactly what's up this is what I, I, i'm talking about right you just take the measurement from the center to the end of what, the circle right very very simple is that okay now what to be the next step the next step is your your your, your protata right this is my protata maybe yours might be what a little bit different from mine but look at something the protata has two way direction right so here you can see that at the end here okay let me show you exactly what i mean here so at the end here you can see that here i'm having the zero as well as what 180 is that okay so when you are counting when you are going this way meaning that you have to start from the zero right you have to start you have to use the down one so when you are going this way so 0 10 20 30 and so on and so forth right but when you are using this direction then meaning that you have to start from the top right always start from the zero your country should start from the zero is that okay now it's your duty to know exactly where you are starting from now for my since i have the line this way right so since i have the line on this direction then i'll start from here right i'll start going this way right i'll start going this way okay now this this is this is the 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 now, one thing you have to pay attention to that look at my protector you see this line this line here this line here this line here has to be on my radius right has to be on this thing and then the center the center the center the center point here should be on the middle of what the protractor right some of you may have a long line here so you have to make sure that the line is on this radius and then the center the center the middle line it has to be on what on the what your center of the circle so this is what i'm trying to say here right as you see right you have to make sure that this line is is on the what the the, the radius right and then this one also has to be what on the center is that okay all right so perfect now you go you go and take the measurements of what the angles that you've already calculated then for the portions of the mathematics we have what 90 degrees is that okay then you locate the 90 degrees on what your protractor remember i said that the direction matters so where are you reading you cannot read from this side right you cannot read from here because the reason is that you chose to, to your line to be on on, on the, the the other side of the, the circle right here so you start your reading from this side right so there's no way you can start reading from 180 so obviously this is why i say that you have to know exactly where you are starting from so here you are starting from the down which is the zero so zero 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 right so 90 is here right so you have to locate your 90 what nicely right so here is my 90 is that okay so that is the 90 okay now this is the portions of what the mathematics right you can see when you are sharing the the, the pizza so this is all the mathematician has to take away right this portion belongs to what the mathematician is that okay now we move on to the next one which is what according to list the list we have what a physicist physicists are taking what 78 degrees 
of what the pizza you see if these people some of the mistakes that students have been doing is that they will still start reading from this side i don't know how possible let's see these people have already taken this portion away there's nothing here for the next people to take again right so when they are in with what their knives say so what are they are going to do is that they'll start cutting from you obviously that this place will be empty after the mathematician has taken their portion right after the mathematician has taken their portion then uh, this this place will be empty so you have to start your counting from from this side right so when they come with what their knives they will cut from this direction okay so let's see how to do that's the 78 degrees so the same way so they are going to take this portion right the same way you have to make sure that your center is already in in, in, in line with what, your protractor and then the last line is also on that can you see can you see the measurement exactly this is this is the center and then this one also is in line because this is exactly where they are going to start cutting from exactly what are they cutting they are cutting out of 78 degrees so look at the reading from the down so zero up to what 78 degrees so where is exactly the 70 so 70 70 is here and then here is what 80 so just two 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 backwards right so two backwards will be that will be somewhere so let, let's look let's look to that very perfectly so that should be somewhere this is 78 right so 80 so, so two backwards so this will be somewhere 70 is that okay so these people are going to take off that portion when you do everything perfectly your partner should look like The second part of the question says you should find the percentage of the people of uh, economics, right? So here there are two ways of doing that. The first one is that uh, you can go with their distribution on, on the on the pizza, right? So the pizza, you know that the pizza is equivalent to 360. So what is their portion? They are taking 72 out of what, 360, right? They are taking 72 portions of the pizza out of the total pizza that is what 360 and then you multiply that by what 100 so that will, that will give us the percentage so in this case you are getting what 20 percent right so or maybe you can you can go according to their numbers right how many how many are they in, in, in the whole distribution so how many economy students do you have here we have uh, 36 economy students right so how many Student, we have in all in all we have 180 students. It's okay. So students over students, and then pizza portion over the total pizza. Is that okay? Pizza portion over the total pizza times hundred, or students over the total number of students times hundred. So there are two ways. All of them gives you the same answer. So this is how simple you solve this type of problem under culture. Now let's look at the second question. The second question is where you have been giving uh, the power chart and then they ask you to use that and answer the question last for you. So let's have a look at the question. From the question, we are giving the respective angles of uh, the expenses uh, he made. So assuming this is you, so let's say the expenses that you made on the various sort of items. Now, the only information that we are having is that Assuming you are, you are the one, right? Assuming you are the one, though, so that you can see everything clearly. Now, assuming you spend what? Uh, 100, 180,000 uh, cities on what? On rent, right? So let's say you are spending an amount of 180,000 on rent. What does it mean? So it means that from the question, you know that 72 degrees from the power south is equal to 180,000, right? 180,000. Is that okay? So this is what we are having. So what will happen? Uh, what will be the, the total amount for the whole 360 degrees? We know that the sum of uh, the power chart is equivalent to uh, 360 degrees, and then you are told that uh, 72 degrees of that is equal to uh, 180,000. Is that okay? So, what will be this? Right? So, that is where you do the calculation. You know that 72 degrees is equal to uh, 180 degrees. What about 360 degrees? So, that will be here, will be a question mark. Is that okay? How do you do that? You can do the cross multiply, right? Do the cross multiply so maybe you can go for something that look at something 72 degrees is equal to 180,000. What about 360? That should be what more than this is that okay? It should be more than that, right? Okay, now so for that reason, you can compare these two guys, right? You can compare this guy, which of them is what the bigger. So the biggest one is what uh, 360, 
right the biggest one is 360 so more or less divide right more or less divide what i mean by more or less divide is that you are looking for more so you are going to divide by this is that okay you are looking for more we are going to divide by this suppose you are looking for less then you have to divide by what the bigger one is that okay so when you do the cross multiply so that will give us 360 multiplied by the number here and then you divide by 72 right so that will give us the total portions of the 360 degrees so this is the amount the guy was ends at the end of the month right okay that will be on 900 okay now the second part is that uh, what is the angles of a uh, savings right the second part of the question says uh, how much he saves what in a month so from the question from the question what do you know you don't know you have not been given what uh, the angles of the saving but one thing we know you must know something you know that everything there is what uh, 360 degrees is that okay there is just one person is missing what you have to do you add everything then you subtract that from what uh, the 360 that will give us the portions of uh, the saving right so 360 degrees this is what we know we know this right this is our starting point so we know this we know that everything has to be good 360 degrees and then we just one person is missing so what i have to do is that you take the, this 360 and then you subtract that from what what you, is available that will give you the what, the missing portion right okay so when you subtract that you arrive at 36 degrees now now uh uh -huh. so the question says how much right so let's answer the question they say how much it saves in a month so how do you get that we know that 36 degrees is equal to the amount that he saves what in a month so 36 over what 360 everything so this is the portions of what in the savings and then this is the amount that he earns in a month right so this guy this this is your portion the savings this is your portion 336 degrees divided by what 360 so multiply by what 900 right so this amount that we earns what in a month and this is the portions of the savings is that okay so when you do this thing you arrive at what 90 what 90,000 right or you can go for the information that being give it to you so we know that we know that this is all we know we know that 72 degrees is equal to 180,000 so there are two ways you cannot go by this or by this one right so we know that 72 degrees is equal to 180,000 what about 36 so based on the calculation that we did at the beginning of this video yeah. just this one just this calculation right so we know that more or less divide or less or more divide so what i mean by that you just have to compare these two guys right what are you looking for we are looking for the smaller one so meaning you have to divide by what the bigger number right after cross multiply so that will be what 36 multiply by that divided by what 72 degrees right okay so perfect when you do the calculation you can see that that will give you what, the same 90,000 right the same answer that we got earlier is that okay that is very very simple now the, the latter part says that what is the percentage of what food and what entertainment right the percentage of food and what entertainment so you need to know the food first as well as the entertainment before you can find their percentages so here's so what food is what 108 and then entertainment is what 60 degrees right so you add it so that will give us 160 degrees and then how do you find the percentage so this is what 160 degrees divided by the total degree to degree right so 160 degrees so what divided by the total which is 360 multiplied by 100 so that will give you what 46.67 percent that is very very simple to how to answer this question if you have any problem just comment down below right comment down below